My name is Linda Shuto. I'm with the Citywide Housing Coalition. And we organized the Citywide Stands for Housing with the blue banners and turquoise scarves uh, that meet on Saturdays at 1 o'clock all across the city. We've been doing this for almost a year now. Uh, and why are you doing this? We're doing this to protest homelessness and to, to fight for more uh, affordable housing in our city. Affordable housing, you mean social housing from the government? Yes, we mean housing that is affordable to people on low and modest incomes, right? So we know that the federal government got out of the business of housing in 1993. And so we're calling on all levels of government, city, provincial, and federal, to work together to develop a comprehensive housing program. And so what do you want the city to do about it? Well, we have four demands for the city. The first demand is this. Keep public land for public use. No more Little Mountain sales to developers. No more agreements with the province to sell public land to private interests. Number two. Invest the property endowment funds in developing city-owned social housing. Swing back full street south. The rate of return on the money invested by uh, uh, of the property endowment fund is not just a money criterion. We think there's a social criterion, and we think it's a wise and wonderful investment to invest in social housing, which would benefit all. the city not to sell public land as they did at Little Mountain. Uh, we don't want our public land lost. But the city uh, didn't own uh, Little Mountain, did it? No, but they entered into an agreement with the provincial government to sell the land and to have a developer only replace the social housing. So the city has a role to play in this and so we want to have the city make sure that all public land is kept public. Mm -hmm. And. Um, the city has quite a few lots, actually, vacant lots, like the 12 sites or something that they're ready, and they say they don't have the money to build it. <laughs> exactly, but they have a property endowment fund that they could use. If they invested that money in social housing, they would have a lot more money. They say that the rate of return for that investment isn't good enough. Uh, we think the rate of return on social housing is very high, and so we want the city to invest its money in social housing. All right, so uh, why don't you run for council? Because we think that moving citizens into the action, into the arena, is the way to go on this issue. We know that citizens support 
uh, affordable housing. We know that it's the number one issue of Vancouver residents. Um, we know it's the number one issue of Vancouver residents, and uh, we uh, we want it to uh, to be a, a factor. So we think that public pressure is going to make all politicians of all stripes at all levels of government uh, will start taking some action that's effective. And your organization is non-partisan? No, we're not. We're the citywide housing coalition. We come from communities across the city. I'm Michael Geller. You're Michael Geller. Geller. I'm one of the MPA candidates for City Council. All right. And uh, what are you going to do for the homeless if you get elected? I'm going to find them some homes. Mm -hmm. And I just came back from Toronto from an international housing conference looking at the Streets to Homes program that's operating in Toronto. They have the same problem as here, do they? They did. And in, since February 2005, they managed to find homes for over 2,100 homeless people. And this is starting now in Vancouver. In fact, council has taken some steps, but there's a lot more that needs to be done. Where did they find those homes for the poor? From the, they simply rented homes from private landlords and the three levels of government, the city, the province, and the federal government worked with 30 nonprofit agencies and the private sector developers to basically help people move into these homes and then eventually get off some of their addictions to alcohol, drugs, and to find employment. And you think that is economically feasible to uh, subsidize housing for uh, all the poor? It's economically feasible because it's more expensive not to do it. If you look at the costs of ambulance, hospital, police, and you add up all of those costs, it's greater than the cost of subsidizing people to move into their own home. I think that we need to immediately implement the homeless action strategy that the downtown east side that we had in place and the council voted on when we were in power in 2002-2005. We have to put pressure on Bannett to, order, uh, to respect the uh, inner city housing agreement of providing 3200 units of housing we have to make sure the 200 units of housing that's being built at southeast falls creek is affordable housing i think the 200 units of housing that's lying empty at little mountain should be used for housing uh, we need to work with the provincial government and the federal government to make sure they come on board with operational funds and also with a long-term national housing plan but there's got to be tangible money. Uh, we've got it. We've got the ability to uh, demand 20% of any new housing that the developers come up with should be uh, social housing. So there's quite a number of things that we can do, including uh, rezoning areas to uh, increase density, but ensure that density is affordable housing. The Citywide Housing Coalition has been doing excellent work, really drawing people's attention to the crisis we're sit facing in the city of Vancouver. Not only people are homeless, but there's so many seniors and young people and uh, Aboriginal people at risk of homelessness and that are just on the edge. So I'm, I'm very concerned and it should be a priority issue in this upcoming city election.